Welcome to our YouTube video series on class action law. My name is Christopher Newfeld of Newfeld Legal. And in this particular video, we're going to be discussing whether one needs to opt into a class action lawsuit to gain the benefit of it as a claimant. And the short answer is no, you don't need to opt into it. Why? Because the underlying legislation, which in Canada is the Class Proceedings Acts in each of the relevant provinces is designed on an opt-out system such that every person who is adversely impacted by those particular claims and can be lumped into that particular class as defined in the lawsuit is automatically a part of it. Now, there's critical aspects that go along with that that you need to consider. One is to make sure that you fit into that class definition or otherwise provide a basis to ensure that you are not taken out of it for any particular reason because it's... And to assure that and to assure that you're part of the claim, one of the key things you need to do is even though you don't need to opt in, is that you should be communicating with the lawyers who have launched the class action lawsuit. And why do I say that? On a couple reasons. Reason number one, most important of all, is that they need to be apprised as to your current contact information because people change locations and oftentimes the corporate defendants don't necessarily have the current information for yourself. They may never have even known who you are or how you're a party to this, especially in product liability issues. Product is sold by a secondary party for which they are liable. That party might not necessarily have the records. Who has the receipts? Who knows whether or not you are a party to it? such that you need to take some degree of initiative and make sure that the plaintiff's lawyers are fully apprised as to number one, what your current contact information is, and if it changes, what that new information is, and how you have been impacted by the situation. From a second standpoint, it is to ensure that the class is broad enough and the claims are sufficiently supported that you really should be looking to advance information that could assist the plaintiff's lawyers. Because remember, the plaintiff's lawyers are oftentimes dealing with only a few of the representative plaintiffs. And it might not include yourself. You might have particulars that are slightly different from the people that they are representing or that they are aware of. And the last thing you want to do is have the class be constricted by the mere fact that you had not provided them information so as to broaden the size of the class and to include yourself within that group as well as others naturally. But the idea is that you want to provide them with information to the extent you can. Most of this information will be at least initially provided on a confidential basis, not subject to the other side unless you want them to see it and then to be developed from there. It also relates to the strength of the claims. Oftentimes, new individuals can come forward with additional information that further substantiates, supports the original claims. It is always beneficial to the plaintiff's legal counsel that there is more than enough supporting evidence to make their case because you want to have as much as possible to say the class is broad enough and the evidence is substantial enough. Now, there's a third reason that you want to probably engage with legal counsel, and that is because class claims are not the only claims that are litigated in a class action proceeding, at least not in Canada. Although there are common class claims and subclass claims that are litigated, there is a third set, which is known as individual claims. 
So you have individual claims that people would also be looking to raise in the class action litigation. And it makes sense to start addressing those early on, collecting your information, providing them to the plaintiff's lawyers, and getting some insights as to what other information you might need to further pursue those individual claims. There might not be particularized individual claims in certain class action lawsuits, but there can be, especially in employment cases and in personal injury cases where people are impacted personally as opposed to some product liability issue. So in that circumstance, you're better off contacting those lawyers who are leading the class action lawsuit early on so that they can apprise you as to where to look and how to deal with these matters. Because once again, it only benefits them to have more knowledge and more evidence to advance the case. Because after the class phase, there is a next following phase which deals with individual issues. And whether you use the lawyers that are litigating the class action lawsuit, oftentimes because they're most familiar with the situation and have been dealing with particulars that are relevant to the entire case, or if you use your own legal counsel, it makes sense to start to address this early on because class action litigation can be drawn out. So the last thing you want to do is find out that you have a very short window a couple of years from now within which to pull together your individual claim and present it. Be far better if you start working on it now as opposed to two years from now because you know how it is with documents and electronic information, stuff tends to disappear, stuff tends to be not recorded, and you don't have your position well established if you don't do it early on. So it's to your benefit to engage with those lawyers who are leading the class action early in the process. Even though you don't need to opt into the lawsuit, you benefit from engaging with those lawyers. So that is a critical distinction. You don't need to opt in, but you should be engaging with the lawyers as our professional recommendation. So hopefully that explains the rationale that oftentimes you don't need to opt into a class action lawsuit, but you benefit from becoming actively involved in it and being engaged in it. Thank you.